Turning now to the coronavirus pandemic, the coronavirus still top of mind several months after the outbreak came to the states. The thought of another lockdown is a controversial idea online right now. It's coming from one of President elect Joe Biden's new task force doctors. We could lock down for four to six weeks, and if we did that, we could drive the numbers down. Now that is Dr. Michael Osterholm, and this video is going viral now with more than 32,000 views and counting. His suggestion comes as cases climb and more states crack down on restrictions. Listen to this. So New York is issuing a statewide curfew, which begins tonight. New Jersey is closing indoor dining at 8 p.m. San Francisco stopping all indoor dining and a shelter in place has already been put in place in Chicago starting Monday. Now this happening as several companies race to get a vaccine approved, but early trials show you may need to prepare for side effects. Liza Lucas joins us from the bridge and Liza, these side effects are expected to be mild, but could really impact your daily life. Yes, it depends on how you react and how you take that feeling of feeling crummy because that is what the early data is suggesting that several of these vaccines may make you feel crummy for a couple of days and then you got to go and get that second dose. Pfizer is like likely most others will require two doses to work. The injections must be given weeks apart according to company protocols. Now scientists anticipate that the shots will cause you to feel drained, perhaps flu like side effects, including sore arms, muscle aches and fever. The effects could last days and temporarily sideline some people from work or school. Experts believe broad outreach on the vaccine is going to be necessary. And in fact, we've been monitoring how people would feel when it comes to taking that vaccine. The willingness willingness rather to be vaccinated for COVID-19. A recent Gallup poll showed only half of Americans were ready to take it half not so much and we've been talking to people on Twitter throughout the morning. Shanta saying no thanks for her, but Angela saying yes, she trusts the science and I actually had a tweet just a little while ago from Laura who said the shingles vaccine is no treat either, but so worth it. So again, weigh in this morning. Use that hashtag morning rush ATL. We'd love to have your perspective and also we're tracking the latest COVID information, including case surges in your county on our website and the 11 Alive app. Just head on over to 11alive.com slash COVID numbers. Check